Mr. Chairman, first of all, great to see fans back for the last game of the season. Yeah, they're um, amazing. It was fantastic from the driving. Um, you could hear the noise in the stadium and you could sit in the bars and in the car parks and uh, yeah, just a shame we didn't really, you know, what we served them up wasn't worthy of, of the occasion really. You, you said, um, you explained on many occasions the, the difficulties of this season. How relieved are you to see the back of it? Um, hugely uh, relieved to see the back of it, hugely relieved to be able to, you know, understand that we'll, um, we'll still be here for next season. I think that was... A year ago, that was the, the aim. Um, but, you know, we had a good squad. You know, we had, a, we had every intention to challenge. Um, and so, you know, today's also bittersweet. Today, the playoff places have decided. Um, and we were playing for 13th or 14th. And um, uh, we've made Ned, you know. It was the non-Galactico derby of... Um, of <laughs> of the uh, National League and, um, and we got whooped. So, uh, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to um, uh, Brentford hopefully beating Swansea today um, at Wembley and Chelsea perhaps turning Man City over tonight and, um, and, bringing the, uh, and bringing the Champs League back to London. Four years ago or so when you were in the Southern League, I, I remember you got promoted one season in the National League, you, you were just delighted to stay up. You can tell now by the fact you feel this is a season of underachievement, your ambitions are, are much higher for this club going forward. We've, um, I mean, today's an emotional day, but for lots of other reasons, but it's an emotional day for me. I mean, I'm going to lose, you know, a number of that squad. Um, uh, Tom Champions probably played his last game for us. Kieran Murta, uh, Danny Woodards, and they were thirty percent of my, you know, or our, I should say, of our um, outfield players at Wembley. These are lads that have, you know, have been with me when we've beaten uh, beaten Blackpool, uh, beat South End in the FA Cup, gone to the third round of the FA Cup, beaten Sutton. You know, United in the semi to take us to Wembley, took my town up Wembley Way, you know, and give um, and beat Fylde in the quarter final. So there's lots and lots of things I'm looking today and thinking, you know, it's the end of an era, and we've now got a as that door closes, we've, we've got to you know look to tomorrow, um, rebuild, and we've got to be better than this season uh, from top to bottom. The chairman's got to be better. Um, the manager's got to be better, the backroom staff have got to be better. Um, my loyal day-to-day -day staff just have to be them because they've been outstanding. Um, and the dressing room's got to be better. Um, and if we don't do that, then, then we'll, you know, we'll go backwards, we'll stagnate. And you know in football, if you, if you don't move forward, then you're, you know, you're a season away from, from relegation. Um, and there's a few this year because of the pandemic like perhaps Dover and Barnet and others that have you know, they've dodged a bullet. Um, and that can quite easily be us next season. So we've got to be better over the next, um, certainly the next two, three months. And we've got to get our recruitment better. Last one from me then. I mean, no one could have foreseen 18 months ago what has rocked the world, the sport, this football club in terms of the pandemic. Tomorrow will be a brighter day is a famous phrase from <laughs> Cinema. Is tomorrow going to be a brighter day for Borough Football Club? Well, it's not gone with the wind, um, you know. But um, yeah, um, it can't. It, it, it has to improve. The, the fallout of the pandemic for this club is going to hit us for the next two years. We've lost our main sponsor. We've lost um, a main education provider. We'll be announcing a new education provider in the next few weeks. Um, it's took everything that I've got to get us this far. Um, I don't want to make any numbers up, Moose. Um, I weren't bought on this earth to, to sit there and make numbers up. Um, I'd rather walk um, than do that. But, you know, as I say, when, when I wake up tomorrow and I see the North Bank, you know, and the noise that was in there today, and I see people didn't want to leave the ground today, and I see, the rapport with the players and the supporters and I walk into the car park and 
all the, you know, and everyone's having a drink and, um, you know, and it's everything, yeah, that's what gives you hope. But, but it, yeah, I mean, next year, um, the pre-season's already in place. Um, you know, I've got great contacts in football. You know, 23 years tells me we've made lots of phone calls um, over, over them years. We've got Brentford coming here mm. on the 20th. Luton Town are coming here um, on the 17th. We've got Arsenal coming. We've got Chelsea coming. And these are people that, you know, um, you know they, they look after us. Um, and as we all know, you know, six, seven weeks ago, it was all about a European Super League. Um, and today it's about a Champions League final. It's about that pyramid where Brentford are going to be playing for the rich in the richest game in football. Um, and Bournemouth has finished its season, and we've just fell a little bit short. So yeah, so look tomorrow maybe the sun comes out, and it's um, and it might be that brighter day you're talking about.